these are the Great Lakes of North America. And this is Lake Erie, the fourth largest lake of the five Great Lakes. At the far west end is Toledo, Ohio, and the far east end is Fort Erie, Canada, and Buffalo, United States. Lake Erie is home to 270 confirmed shipwrecks, but it could be as many as 2,000. On today's video, I'm going to take you to one of those shipwrecks. A ship that was marooned over 60 years ago. This is Shirkston Shores, located on the northeast shoreline of Lake Erie. Uh, Buffalo City, uh, New York, is 20 kilometers directly west. That way is the crow flies, which is 12 and a half miles. And that way is Port Coburn, which is nine kilometers, maybe five and a half miles as the crow flies as well. But what am I doing here at Shirkston Shores? Well, I'm here to tell you a story about a particular shipwreck, which is just located just behind me over here. And it's been here since 1961. And to give you a perspective of what the ship looked like, this is exactly what the ship looked like uh, before it became wrecked. And this is what the ship looked like a few weeks ago when I managed to get out on the lake and take some drone shots. This is the story of the SS Venus, also known as Steel Products, the ship that became shipwrecked here at Shirkston over 60 years ago. And over time, the shipwreck has been known by locals as simply the wreck. Before we get into this, we need to start right back at the beginning. Back when the ship was built. The shipwreck that is located at Shirkston was a bulk freighter named Venus. It was built by the American Shipbuilding Company at its yard in Lorraine, Ohio, United States. The shipyard was a leading builder of Lakers right up until the 1970s. Venus was launched on February 28, 1901 and delivered in May of the same year to its owner. Globe Steamship Company, which became Gilchrist Transportation Company. In 1915, the ship underwent reconstruction and was converted to crane ship by the Toledo Shipbuilding Company and received two revolving cranes. Then in 1958, it had new cabins and a smokestack fitted. Over the years, Venus changed owners numerous times. Interlake Steamship Company from 1913 to 1941, Bethlehem Steel Corporation from 1941 to 1951, or Navigation Company, 1951 to 1958, and finally, Steel Products Steamship Company in 1958, where it also had a name change from Venus to Steel Products. In 1961, it was sold for scrap to the Marine Salvage Limited of Port Coburn, marking an end to its 60 years of service on the Great Lakes. Having been decommissioned, the Steel Products, formerly known as Venus, was being towed by the tug G.O.W. Rogers, when a storm brewed up on Lake Erie on October 26, 1961, and she broke free from her tow line. She went ashore and was hauled, sinking in shallow water, where she remained ever since. The ship was scrapped at its location on Lake Erie by Harry Gamble of Port Dover. During the scrapping of the vessel, a row was built out into the lake to facilitate in the dismantling. And to this very day, the ship still remains there. All right, now we're back at present day, the ship in its state it is right now. Uh, when I first filmed this, I didn't realize about the road. Uh, so I'm going to show you where it is right now. But this is the bow of the ship right there. That is the bow. And just on the other side, on the, uh, on the port side, you can see the road clearly in the water. And here's another shot of it, which is much, much clearer. Uh, the road, which would have been taking you traveling north uh, to the shoreline at Shirkston. All right, I'm on the starboard side of the uh, steel products right now so that to my right is the bow and it's getting towards the stern the water levels are a little low at the moment uh, i was here at the beginning of the summer uh, when the water was really really calm i can uh, tell you the water was a lot higher look at this this is uh, really low <laughs> As you can tell, it's very, very low. I'm not going to be able to get my uh, sea in there. I got some old footage 
I took uh, a couple of months back, early summer, and uh, I can show you the difference because I actually took the sea right through that gap right there. What a surreal shot that is, that is fantastic. The floor of the ship is still look. Look at that, look how clear it is today. It's unbelievable. Watch out for those sharp bits down there. So yeah, we're inside the shipwreck. Beautiful, clear scenery. Look at that, it'd be great to go dive down there. Let's just pause it right there. This is a mechanical bit, the cog wheels uh, for the, yeah, the, the moving cranes that were installed on the ship uh, quite a few years earlier. And uh, this is the one that's at the stern of the ship.
For over 60 years, the wreckers lay here, with nature slowly taking her away. It's an amazing sight, it really is, and it's right on my doorstep. It's great to just take my CD out there and go and adventure into it. But whilst I've been out there, I've seen many people snorkel through the shipwreck and also kayak along with paddleboarding. It's quite easy to access uh, the shipwreck from Shirkston, uh, but though Shirkston is private property, there is a public access beach just to the right of it. Uh, if you look on the map, it's just to the east of Shirkston Shores. There's a public road, and you can just gain access there. And it's, uh, if you've got a paddleboard or a kayak, it's quite easy to uh, make your way out to the shipwreck on a nice calm day. It all started about 120 years ago when the ship looked like this, the magnificent Venus, and then it was transformed into this when it had its cranes installed on top of it. And then after the shipwreck, it started to fall apart. And now you have it like this in its present day. For 120 years, part of this ship has been on this earth. And now it sits here, slowly decaying away on the shores of Shirkston, known by many as simply the wreck. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you can. Until the next time, my name's Nigel, also known as Elite Gary Vlogger. Stay safe.